Fantasy 44. Hello gamers, SPC Brawler is coming at you again with the week two of the weekly weapons. I'm deciding I'm going to be doing this every weekend so I can include Banshee 44 and Zer. As of right now, we're with Banshee 44. Let's see what he has in store for us. Seventh Seraph, Officer Revolver. Firmly planted and feeding frenzy. A unique role, I would say, if you're someone that's just going to be going for unique kills as you're crouching and as long as you're getting those rapid kills you just keep on reloading but with destiny 2 you're going to be constantly on the move so i would pass on this weapon long shadow firmly planted and triple tap now this one with the firmly planted is more of an understanding with how this weapon behaves you are going to be using a sniper rifle and as long as you're crouched you'll be able to get your increased accuracy stability and handling at the same time, if you're just aiming for precision hits constantly, you'll just get yourself another round back into the magazine. So you'll have a chance of having six rounds if you're just constantly going in for these triple taps. I would say this one is a go if you're one that enjoys slaying out ultras and bosses when it comes to nightfalls and raids. So if you're interested in it, give it a go. Hollow Words, Feeding Frenzy, Unrelenting. This weapon, I would say, is a unique one for the main reason because most likely if you're using this gun with the miners, say, thralls, dregs, if they're coming at you with full born, you'll be constantly rapidly reloading as you're getting successful kills. And if you're rapidly defeating targets, which fusion rifles are known to do, you'll get yourself health regeneration. Pretty unique for warlocks. The dice side. I hope I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> A delicious shotgun with eight rounds to the mag that's gonna be interesting to utilize but with this one you'll need to hold off on using your ability energies that might include using your class abilities your melees and your grenade abilities me per se I would skip out on this one the memory interdict for this unique grenade launcher that has just been introduced in the last season if you need to get yourself out of a significant pinch of an emergency, just pop this little guy out and start unloading on the enemies. With the Wellspring, this is a little bit interesting because if you know how to use this perk well, it can really come in handy. But with me per se, I would give another pass on this one. And lastly, Crown Splitter. This is mainly exclusive to the Titans. I would like to know if there are any swords for the Hunters and warlocks when it comes to banshee 44 i'll take a double check on that i'll throw a little text if that's the case if you're getting kills with this weapon you'll get super energy that sounds pretty cool and surrounded this weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity i would say give this one a buy if any of you titan maniacs out there want to get your supers a little bit quicker these two perks could go hand in hand you know, just for the heck of it, I'm buying it. Now, on to Zer. And I hear that he is on Nessus, so stand by for teleportation. Wrong button. The nine see your valor. You can barely see Zer's eyes. Alrighty. And he got a gangram for 97 legendary shards. You got the hard light. I already have that weapon. Graviton forfeit. Mm, improve invisibility. I think I have that already. Printing grind greaves. Bonus damage on airborne shoulder charges. And the controverse hold for the warlocks if you want to improve your void charges. But we're here for the weapons, so let's take a look at them, shall we? Dire promise. Triple tap and under pressure. Let me check out under pressure. If you're one that wants to shoot like a wild gunslinger with your hunters, give dire promise a go. This roll isn't bad at all. Gnawing Hunger. Ooh, this one looks delicious. 51 rounds to the mag, Substance, and Demolitionist. If you're someone that enjoys chucking grenades like crazy, this one is your go-to weapon, especially when it comes to Nightfalls that have a lot of Void Burns or Lost Sectors that are in Master Difficulty or Grand Master Difficulty. Also give this one a go if you're interested. And Anti-Barrier Auto Rifles this season? Huh? Cold Denial, Feeding Frenzy, and Head Seeker. Distant Tumulus. This is a very unique weapon back in the vanilla D2 days. 
quick draw and lead for gold. If you're someone that knows how to use these two perks, especially since this is a rapid sniper, feel free to take a look into this. But personally, the four that I've mentioned, I'm already skipping out on them. For this particular gun, I do not believe field prep is a must for shotguns. The reason being, shotguns are close quarter weapons. You got to get up in front with your enemies and you almost have no time to crouch at times unless you're a titan and you want to barricade yourself constantly. Seventh Seraph, so, ah, Elemental Capacitor again. What do you have in store for us? You know, if you're rocking a Void subclass, these two perks actually go well, which surprises me in a way. If you need that stability, which it will come in handy if you're utilizing this particular weapon, give it a go if you enjoy using a Void subclass. Last but not least, Trinary System. This is from Gambit. Quick draw and tap the trigger. We already know what quick draw does, but with tap the trigger, grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. Just like the grenade launcher from Banshee 44, this little guy will easily get you out of a significant emergency if you get yourself stuck in a certain situation. The only weapons I would go for are the trinary system. And that's about it. Nothing really seems to pop out with my interest when it comes to this week's weapons. That'll be it for this week. Stay tuned for next week to see what week 3 will store for us. And the Vex are fighting against the Fallen. With that being said, thank you for all for watching. Thank you so much for the 30 plus views on the last video that I did for the weekly weapons. I understand that there are many many content creators out there that look into the destiny 2 universe especially people such as lucky and so on and so forth but to those unique people that decided to look at my content thank you so much and until next week and until another video comes on my channel game on gamers